I've spent most of my life either next to the sea or on it. And like many other people who have spent any time on the water, I have a massive amount of respect and admiration for the sea's sheer power and unpredictability. Anyone who has seen one of my videos probably already knows that I have a passion for vessels which will safely and confidently take you through some rough weather. The feeling of being on a boat in the middle of the night crashing through heavy seas is just exhilarating. And that is one reason why I wanted to do a short video on the Botnia Targa 46, which is currently the longest vessel in Targa's range of 12 boats. The Targa 46 has a length overall of 49 foot and 6 inches. Her whole length is 45 foot and 7 inches. She has a beam of 13 foot, which is just under 4 meters, and a draft of 3 foot 6 inches which is 1.1 meters. Her fuel tank can hold 1500 liters of fuel and her water tank will hold 350 liters. So as you can tell, she is built for serious cruising. As you would expect with a Targa, she is fast. In fact, she has a top speed of up to 41 knots with a cruising speed of between 23 to 31 knots based on two 435 horsepower engines. The 46 has a generous flybridge with a very sound, practical and ergonomic layout. I could not find the official berthing figure on Targa's website, but judging by this layout, then you could comfortably sleep four people on board with a maximum of six as long as you don't mind getting up close and personal with your guests. I could not find the official CE category for this vessel. Still, I will hazard a guess and say that the 46 will probably be a category B, meaning that she will easily head into significant offshore seas of around 13 foot in wind conditions blowing up to 40 knots. Living on the edge of the North Sea and having volunteered as a crew member in a North Sea lifeboat station, I am used to heading out into some pretty bad weather conditions on small to medium sized boats. Not only would I be happy to take the Targa 46 out in such conditions, but I would also be happy to crew her by myself. When you take into account her sea keeping capabilities, along with her fantastic layout and use of deck space, then it is easy to see why this boat and the Targa range in general are so popular with serious seafarers. Who knows, when the lockdown has finished, then maybe I might be able to bring you some footage from the wheelhouse of a Targa 46 as she plows into some heavy seas. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would be interested in seeing. While you are here, then please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I continue to bring you videos like this one following my 30 year love affair with yachts, boats and the sea. You can also find me on Instagram as well. So next time you're on there, why not give me a follow? And finally, it would mean a lot to me if you could follow me on Facebook as well. I know, that's a lot of follow requests, right? But it means that I can carry on bringing you these sort of videos. So if you do follow me, then thanks.